George, George, why don't you explain to Rich what Star Wars Detours is while we're talking about it? I wonder if Rich already knows. Rich, do you know, when I say Star Wars Detours, does that mean anything to you? You're a Star Wars fan? I uh, I have seen the original trilogy. Wow. Uh, Phantom, Clones, and Sith? No, uh, no I'm sorry. The, the first three that were released uh, in no. our chronology. <laughs> right. So four, five, and six. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw those. I think I've seen each of them twice. Mm-hmm. And then um, I saw the newer ones as well, each one time. The the most recent three. I've never right. seen one, two, and three. Hey, how do you make sense of how do you make sense of the other ones you saw? Yeah. Uh, it, I, I'll be honest, the, the first time that I saw four, five, and six, I was much, much younger. And so I think right. I just mm-hmm. let it wash over me. I did have a lot of questions after my second viewing, which was only a few years ago, I watched them with my kids and, and they they also had a lot of questions uh, that I was unable to answer. Great, uh, out of curiosity, when uh, friends of yours uh, mm-hmm. want to check out the TV series that you've been on, do you recommend to them, oh, you should start with episode uh, four of Mad Men, <laughs> skip the first three. No need to watch the first first 90 minutes of Glow, just start <laughs> after that point. Is that what you say? I don't. I don't. But to be to be fair, to be fair, uh, the 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 number four, five, and six. You know, New Hope and uh, Empire Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi uh, were released at a t- you know before the first. I mean, yeah. George, you know all this, obviously. You were a kid. But, you were a kid. But, but I was a kid, and so I just went yeah. and saw them. And they're kids' um, movies. They're movies for kids. They're movies for kids. Um, do you want me to give you the short? I, I'll tell you what happens in the just a short version. Um, yeah, sure. You know, Darth Vader, you remember the end of uh, uh, Return of the Jedi? Uh, uh, he takes off the mask. You see there's yep. a guy in there. Yep. All right? That guy was once a little boy. Right. Um, he had special skills, magic blood, and uh, he got recruited, like headhunted by a big, big-time big Jedi guy. He was like, this kid's special. Took the kid, left the mom. Wada owned the kid. Yeah. Watto owned the kid? Yeah, no. he, uh, yeah. Watto owned the kid and the mom. Okay. Um, oh, that's on there. I that see. thing on the pod race is how he won his two slaves, Anakin and Shmi Skywalker from Gardula the Hut. KFC right. Taco Bell Pizza Hut Pets. Right. <laughs> kid grows up, starts dating his former babysitter. Oh. Hey, yuck. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, Gets her pregnant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's twins. Oh boy. Uh, uh, he falls in. Uh, he falls in with a bad influence. There's a, 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 a politician. Well, first of all, he has a he has a dumb friend who later becomes a <laughs> senator and votes for basically the use of force. Uh, it's basically like the Gulf War thing. Do you do you want to pause this while Patrick's gone, just so he can no. hear the whole thing? Or... He probably wants to take a nap. He yeah, always goes to take a nap. He always okay. goes to I just want to make sure if you didn't if you didn't already know it, Patrick. I want to make sure you get to hear no, it no, too. I got it. I got you, it. Have, you have uh, you have children, right, Rich? I do. Yeah, two of you them. You know, sometimes uh, small, immature children can't get through a basic activity without taking a couple naps. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, and then you need to give them a snack, maybe a little juice box, a cracker, or something. Sure. Yeah, now you know what it's like having a producer. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So one senator vote, votes to give the other senator unlimited power. Uh-huh. This, this senator is kind of a mean, tricky guy, and he tells uh, Anakin, this little boy turns into Darth Vader, tells him, listen, you better give in to your anger or else your wife's going to die. He's like, mm-hmm. oh, no, not my wife. She's pregnant. I don't want my wife to die. I guess I better give in to my anger. So he gives into his anger, kills a bunch of people, kills a bunch of children, uh, gets into a fight with his best friend. His best friend, uh, they're fighting on a volcano planet. And his best friend says to him, uh, don't you jump up here. I'm higher than you. You'll regret it. Anakin doesn't listen. He jumps up. His friend, in one move, in one move, chops off his arms and legs. This infuriates Anakin. He's furious about what his friend just did to him. He's lying on molten lava. He's sliding into the lava. 
And he says the one thing that a friend should never say to another friend. It's a real red flag. He says, I hate you. So mean. <laughs> but in some ways, I, I forgive him that because A, he's just giving it into his anger. Also, his friend just chopped off his arms and legs and he's he's burning. He's on fire. Yeah. And his friend walks away, leaves him there. <laughs> so the the bully that he the bully senator that had kind of talked him into it built right. him a big robot Darth Vader suit. And this thing, it's got everything. You can go to the bathroom in it, it's great. Mm -hmm. But he wakes up and he's like, "What happened to my wife?" And he says, "Oh boy, uh, you got <laughs> she's dead. She's she's dead. Right. The one thing that he didn't want to happen. So he's like, I guess this is who I am now. I guess I'm Darth Vader now. Now he's now he's truly has to give over to that anger. Yeah. So he's like, what do I have now? What are my options? Right." What, I'm going to go hang out with my friend? He left me for dead on a volcano. I have nothing. I might as well do this. I might as well. I guess I'm Darth Vader now. That right. was actually a line of dialogue. I replaced it. We had to, he basically he says, no, like that. And then originally in the first draft of the script, I had him say, I guess I'm Darth Vader now. And then I thought, <laughs> no, the no is so strong. Let's cut on the no. Yeah. Because yes. that's a, yeah. Uh, okay. And well, so that's I, the, the three movies. Now the, now the four, five, and six makes sense, right? Yes. Oh, also, he hates sand. This guy. <laughs> Guess just, it. Guess can't it. stand it. Rough. I don't, it, works, it gets everywhere. Did that get referenced in four, five, and six? All no. the sub. It's all subtext. It's all just under the... It's like, yeah. watch it now and understand like when the first time that you would have seen Darth Vader in episode four... He comes right. storming into the room and he looks around. You know what he's looking for? There better not be any sand in here. <laughs> Good, no sand. And he keeps walking. He approves. It's a sand I mean, uh, he's got that... a dust buster, a dust buster under his cape, and he's ready. If there's any there, he's going to just yeah, right. It, it yeah. sounds. I, I I should probably go back and watch these again. Do you Show have your kids. Do you have, they're kids yeah. movies. They're kids. You movies. have Disney Plus. Do you have Disney I Plus? Do, I do have Disney Plus, yeah. It's free. You have free Star Wars 24 yeah. hours a day. That's true. That's the dream. But the one, thing, the one thing you All don't you have, have to though, do is pay money and then it's free. Yeah. <laughs> the, one thing that, the one thing you don't have, and this was all just a prelude to this, is Star Wars Detours. Right. Which right. I'm going to tell you is, what that is. Yes, That please. is the final Star Wars project that I personally worked on. We made 39 episodes of an animated Star Wars comedy show called Star Wars Detours. And it was just like uh, Star Wars, but funny. Okay. And we kind of spoof and goof on it. Kind of like it was the, the robot chicken guys. You know, they, that, that was the inspiration for it. And they worked on it. And so I oh. said, you know what? Let's not wait for the green light from some network. You know, normally the way TV shows are made, some big executive says... Yes, you can make your show. Make one. Show me it. Yeah, I like it. Make more. And they're always, mm, you can make nine more. You can make ten more. They're always telling you what to do. I said, we're not going to wait for that. Let's just make them, make 39 of them, and then we'll just give them completely to somebody. So I made 39 episodes of Star Wars Detours. We wrote, I think, like 60 or 70 episodes. We wrote a ton. And I was thinking, this is very low risk because it's Star Wars. It's George Lucas. Plus, it's funny. It's a gimme. Yeah. It's a gimme. So I, I sell, I, I, I'm having a tax issue coming up. This is years ago now, uh, um, where if I don't sell Star Wars before the new tax year, I'm going to, it's going to cost me. So I was in a hurry to make this deal. So I'm like, okay, I want someone good. I want Disney to own Star Wars. They're going to give me money. I'll get, uh, let's sort this out. And in my haste, I just assumed that in buying 39 fully completed episodes of Star Wars Detours, that Disney would do the thing that they are perhaps most famous for doing with animation, which is releasing it. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, you, you, never will you see someone, you know, down digging in some tomb and they say, I found something. What is it? It's Steamboat Willie. They buried it. No, right, they released right. it. They, they release it, and they release it, and then they re-release it. And they might put it in the vault for a few years, but only so that they can then release it. Right. Well, all these episodes remain for almost a decade now in the Disney vault. Right next to Song of the South. 
right next to some of the south. Right. George, I feel like that's not usually how we describe where the episodes ended up. Well, yes, they took the 39 episodes. They said, thank you very much for the episodes. And then they put them on a shelf. (laughs) I did it. I uh, I finally did it. I finally, finally took five months. I bought a fucking shelf. I was going to ask what you were working on there that entire time that George was. It's called the slow burn, baby. What the? <laughs> you think Billy Lynn takes a long half time walk? You just got waffled, baby. Uh, you just got uh, waffled. I did. 